pay you guys. We stopped at Slab City here. And this used to be a military base back in the day. So we're right at the entrance. I guess it was a guard ship. I'm here with my buddy Dave. This was the guard shack. So I'm told. And over there is, it looks like a, a convertible. Yeah, that's what it is, a, a Sebring. So there's a little uh, canal here. There's a hot springs here too, you guys. I'm not gonna go in it. I have been in, but I'll show you that in a minute. I'm not going in today. So this is the Slab City hot spring. It used to be hot. I'm not getting in, but I have. Pretty cool. Okay, you guys. We have arrived at Salvation Mountain in Slab City. And I know you're all dying to see it, so let's go. So this is Salvation Mountain. A gentleman, I don't know his name, who put this together has passed away, I'm gonna say 10 years ago. I don't know who takes care of it now. You used to be able to walk inside, but we'll see. So this is one of the little rooms in Salvation Mountain, but it looks like they've closed most of them off. You can see. It was constructed of mud and hay, or hay bales covered with paint. That's what I was told. But you used to be able to walk in all of it. You used to be able to walk through it. But it's been like nine, ten years since I was here last, so I guess they've closed it off. you guys can see here I can't really tell bro it was really cool back in the day but you can't go in it anymore it's all coming apart as you can see it's probably in safe now See up there the hay bales on the top. And I guess the original guy, and I don't remember his name, I'm sure if you look at the plaque, it tells you that I videoed a minute ago what his name was. But I guess he put these hay bales up and painted them, plastered them or whatever. I'll see if I can find my original pictures to add to this. So if I remember where the guy is with the blue shirt, you would go in there and wander around inside, but if I remember right, there was a stairway that used to go up to the top and you'd exit, where you see these blue little waves coming down. There was a door, if I remember. So now we're in Slab City. Salvation Mountain is really at the beginning of Slab City. I think this must have been a little bus stop or something. Outside's a lot prettier than the inside. So 
Isn't that nice? Pretty. They used to sell t-shirts up here. They had their own little radio station. Right here is a secondary guard shack. Pretty sure that's what this used to be. Check out the little tiny viewing area in the wall. Probably just enough to get your rifle through. Well, in case there was an issue. Back when this was a base. I don't know if it's safe to go in here, but we're going in. Cool little dark shack. So this is Slab City. I'm not getting out walking around because it's hot. I'm a lightweight today. So we have arrived at what is the library. Check out this little trike here. Look at this doorknob, isn't that classic? I love it. Quite a big library. Reminds me of Mexico, south of San Felipe. They have little libraries, but not this. This is big. The South Campos, south of San Felipe, they have little libraries like this, but they're little 10 by 10 rooms. Most of the campus. Slab City is kind of interesting. It's not like I remember it, but it's been eight or ten years since I was here.
so we're still at Slab City. We just met Dot. Hi. This is Dot. Hey, Dot. This is her place here. Yep, part of it. You're starting the in the whole small thing? area. Oh, it's big. So, but you're going to go in there and you're going to start with the skeletorarium. Okay. Which is full of bones. Right. And some of them are real. Look in the fridge. Take your time. Okay, There's a cool. Lot in there. Got to go all the way inside that trailer. Oh, I'm not going in then. Wow. Skeletorarium, she says. Right there. I don't know anything about any of these, you guys. A few liquor bottles. Oh, check out this old phone. Isn't that cool? This is what she keeps in her refrigerator. and um, steaks and chicken. That is weird. I thought that was a mirror. I was wondering why it didn't show the skeleton. Right there, see? There's got to be something good in this one. Okay, you guys. There you go. That's the trailer. We'll go outside and see what's out there. Okay, so this is Dot's area as well here at Slab City. I don't know anything about it, you guys. So I'm just going to video it for you. I don't know how many a few people have been to Slab City. It's quite a little place. All kinds of artsy stuff. That looks like something Lucille Ball would have for sale. Health aid. Oh, a few mannequins. Check out these sunglasses. Wow. So we'll check out that old radio over there with a handle. Okay, I'll go in. Still, right? You still in here? Yep. You to the thing that is probably my most popular exhibit that I have. Um, it's over here. Uh, it's called. I gotta fix fix the arrow. Because it's like, everything's gotten so dusty. And so I wanted it to, to look a little bit better. But yeah, they're sitting in a tub of water right now. I see. The, the human stew. The human stew. This is, what, what is this called again? Taxidermy dinner party. Okay. And then you're headed towards the Barbie Horror House, the Plague of Christianity, um, you know, prehistoric times. <laughs> Okay, prehistoric times, I see. Barbie house. It's a 
Barbie Horror House. Right? Oh, like the Barbie Horror House. Yeah, okay. they get slaughtered. See, so it's three dumb oh. bimbos going on a road trip, and then they break into a mansion. One gets slaughtered here, and <laughs> yep. So this is what they call the East Jesus side of Slab City. This whole thing, Dave? Yep. This is going to be a long video. You just walk around anywhere? I got to get the plane first. Wow, that's nice. What is it? This is an art colony. I'm listening, go ahead. So they have uh, occasions where people come together and they have contests where people create art and they probably vote to see who, who wins. But if we can get a tour, that might be kind of exciting. Would be, who do we ask? Well, we've got to go to the main house. So, what was that, Dave? Most of these cars were built for uh, Burning Man. I think I've seen this one at Burning Man. I haven't been to Burning Man in quite some time. These are homeless Barbies. Oh. This is what happens to little girls' Barbies when they don't take care of them. They get Barbie napped and glued to the hood of a car, huh? <laughs> yes. They're tortured daily. I guess so. Some of them are missing arms, some of them are missing legs. I think this is the circuit board car. It looks like all electronics. And you're going to go. And it's, you know, it's not very far. Well, except for the top. In the middle of the road. And that's where you turn right up to get back out of here. Aquaman over here. Yep. I'm sure glad they have a fan here because I'm burning up. Lease your dog. Vandals will be used for target practice. It says open, so I'm coming in. Well, check out this old glass par. Oh, that's some captain's chair. Well, this is just going to be a long video because every time you think you've seen everything, you go around the corner and there's something else. Check out these refrigerators. I don't know what this is, but I'm going to go in. Part hole. I'm in awe, you guys. I'm not talking a lot during this video because I just don't believe what I'm seeing. I've been here before, but never did I see all this. Looks like they've got some solar panels here. That's the only thing holding this place up. So I'm guessing that this was another Burning Man mutant vehicle. I 
I don't know how many of you have actually been to Burning Man. It was a Chevrolet truck at one time. Pretty cool. So much to see here. Oh my god, who's that? Oh, it's just a mannequin. Who knew? It scared the heck out of me though. Check out those sunglasses. Pretty cool. He, he tried to seduce young women with that. He did. He tried to those women. And things he never told anybody what it was. And so he was trying to reproduce it. I'm sure that the one that sued Jamie is better than anything Charlie ever heard. Cool uh, bottle wall. This is really cool, you guys. This is. Of course, the VW bus has my attention right off the bat. these things when I was a kid the people that my dad had me living with had one a VW bus a lot older than this check out all these O2 cartridges but anyway they're pretty cool sleeping quarters Check out this old Tercel. Or Starlet. I'm not sure which, but. What is this, Dave? This is. Um the original van that uh, Charlie would go out with and uh, and do he would serve his chocolate martinis out at Burning Man and uh, after he you know passed away it's you know, just been sitting here ever since well wow. somebody should revive it and take it back to Burning Man wouldn't that be fun and restore it yeah maybe they could have a, a fun for that okay Dave what's this called here this is the wall of TVs, and uh, if you read all the things on there, it kind of explains the theme of what they feel about the television. I don't think they like it. No? But it's what I catch up on my news with every single night. It's how I find out what's going on in the world. There's just like an old Apple computer right there. Gary has an old Apple computer that we bought many moons ago. Probably worth some money. Oh my gosh, it just goes on. Need a man. Okay. Television. Blah. Oh my. The, the attempt was to completely get the bus underground. Hi. Hi. And a uh, couple of gentlemen came out and started digging and it just became too much and that's as far as it got. What would they do with it underground? Uh, well, they're gonna they're gonna make it uh, into a room that you can stay in and you can still stay in it today really yeah it's a it's a rental I'll be darned look at all these bottles over here 
bottle haven. Yeah, if you don't think they drink. So Dave, tell me, there's a nice little Volkswagen over here. And it looks like a pile of burnt tritus. What would you call this piece here? Well, when you go to the bathroom, do you experience sharp pains? Well, you would with this one. Thousand dollars you can have her. Check out this bathing beauty from Burning Man. I'm certain I saw it out there when I was out there. For official use only. I'm official. Yep, this was definitely a Burning Man car, and I'm pretty sure I saw it out there. Because I've been about six or seven times to Burning Man. Not in 15 years, but... How would you like to own your own piece of history from Burning Man? This seems like it might be a... I don't know... 70 Cadillac? A lot of work went into that. That is awesome. And you could just step right up these steps. If you were at Burning Man, to ride up here. Talk about some burnt rubber. Daddy must have bought this guy's tires. This one they call the elephant. Oh, it's an elephant. Oh, I can see the... Um, With the tusks and the eyes up there. I see the resemblance. Yes. The elephant. So this is the elephant. Pretty cool. Breaker 1-9, Breaker 1-9. This here's a scarecrow. Breaker 1-9 aside, check out this beautiful door handle. When I'm right in the way, you probably can't see it. Not sure what's in there. I can't really see, but... There's so much to see out here. That's what I'm saying. So Dave, tell me, there's a nice little Volkswagen over here. And it looks like a pile of burnt tritus. What would you call this piece here? Well, when you go to the bathroom, do you experience sharp pains? Go to the bathroom. Do you experience sharp pains? Go to the bathroom. Do you experience sharp pains? Well, you would with this one.